Hello, my name is Sid Wilroy from Hive Storage. Today I wanted to go over the old and uh, no longer sold general release Sun V100, but it still is under active uh, support. Uh, what you see here is the, the front bezel of the system. It's got a, uh, a power LED, a fault LED, and a, a center a front accessible CD-ROM. The internal drives are not accessible uh, or hot swappable, so we'll go through those as well. Um, and then I also wanted to go through the uh, open boot prom and the lights out management that you can do via a serial cable. I have a um, I have a Radio Shack a serial, a USB to serial dongle that has a rolled cable, Cisco rolled cable at the end connecting to the female um, part of the dongle to the in, insert it into a uh, RJ45 male into the LOM connection on the back of the Sun V100 server. So let's just go, I just wanted to go over, so that's the front bell. And uh, in order to take the uh, the top off, you, there's one small screw in the rear, and then you pull 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 it back. It's pretty much toolless in order to uh, take the top of the system off. Um, here's the rever the rear of the um, the system. It has a single power supply. Uh, there's the AC, um, the power switch. And we can talk about that as well as uh, turning on the power from the LOM, ALOM, ILOM, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the system configuration card is, so there's not a non-volatile actual chip or PROM on the system board as you probably uh, are accustomed to in previous Spark systems. But um, So the actual configuration is held on, it looks like a smart card. Um, here's the two serial ports. We're currently in the the top serial port which is the LOM port. Uh, two USBs, uh, two uh, fast Ethernet um, and they use the DMFE driver. And then you have two LEDs and then there's a fault LED and we can ch I can We'll go through like how to set the actual fault LED if you need to define the system, and then there's the uh, and there's also a power LED, and then um, the this is the top configuration of the board. So there's basically a single bank of four four dim slots that you can put in there, and those dim slots can be in a uh, they don't have to be put in pairs, uh, so they can and there also there's not an order. So you can just you put it supports up to uh, 2048 two gigs of memory. Um, there's a it's a single processor unit. There's the two drives. Although you can put three in there or even four if you wanted to uh, take out the CD-ROM drive. But um, pretty pretty simple design. Uh, you know I think it's a a great server, especially to get accustomed to the Spark architecture. Um, let's see what else. And then here's the actual board. Uh, the previous slide was the board inside the chassis. This is just the board. Showing the DIMM slots here, um, you know, the disk controller, uh, smart card reader that we talked about, what this actually has the open boot, open boot prom uh, settings. Uh, here's the, uh, the LOM, the lights out management system. Um, and then our external connections, the LEDs. So this is really on uh, so this is the rear of the uh, of the system and then there's there's two IDE controllers um, here you have uh, the the primary boot device should be on its own IDE controller the first one and then um, the second uh, IDE controller which is here should have the secondary hard drive as, as a master or a slave and then the uh, CD-ROM uh, DVD is on the uh, is also on that same IDE ribbon. And I think that's pretty much all the images I had. Now we can go to the actual. Um, uh, I'm using uh, TerraTerm as my terminal 
emulation program. Currently, I'm attached to the uh, to the system. Um, my settings were pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, let's go to the um, serial port, and so I'm on COM2. And in a previous, if you're using a uh, USB to serial connection, you need to be aware that in the device manager of Windows, you can change the COM port because the COM ports only go up to four on TerraTerm. So I had to set my COM port from five to two, and then it's you know a pretty standard baud rate, data parity, stop, and uh, flow control. So here we are. We're connected to it and um, also about the drives basically uh, uh, I have on mine uh, some Maxter drives although Sun never shipped any Maxter drives with the V100 uh, most of the drives that Sun shipped were primarily Seagate but also IBM you know, Western Digital Hitachi and then as we talked about with the card uh, that's accessible that you can pull out from the uh, rear of the server you know that also has the uh, the open boot prom environment settings but also the host ID uh, MAC address of the both Ethernet uh, connections and uh, the open boot and um, LOM firmware we talk about that so so basically here I am at the LOM and then you can type in a help uh, basically to get a lot of the the information on the LOM. LOM is just basically a controlled environment uh, that allows you access to lower level uh, hardware functionality and then it can invoke the system and then also get into the open boot prompt. So you know I, I guess we can show you like one of the uh, we can look at uh, um, environment so basically we can show that the you know the system's not actually running right now there is electricity applied to it but it hasn't been spun up and you can hear that when I do but uh, basically this is just showing the uh, the systems right now and then you can set the different alarms if you want uh, and there's just one single fan in the back uh, then the temperature uh, pretty straightforward on the environmentals um, another thing that we can do is uh, well, actually, we can stop here, and then I'll do a second part, and um, we'll get more into the law. Thanks.